this should be recording. And once again, this is going to be a lazy vlog. Uh, I've not done one of these for a couple of weeks. Uh, I apologise, I've not shaved. I've still not had my hair cut. Uh, I don't know what this colour thing is that's going on here. It's not normally that colour. Um, but, right, uh, what we'll do here is I'm just going to run you through some things that have come in and uh, give you an update on some other things and uh, and generally just whitter on and, and talk mints or, um, yeah, usual drill. You know how it works. Um, but what we're going to start, what will we start with? Um, we'll start with by cleaning my glasses because I can't really see that well these days. Uh, we, we've got lots, we do have quite a bit here. We have quite a bit. I'm not sure if you've seen it all or not, but uh, yes, hopefully some of it you will find interesting. Uh, today, today I, I did a review for the um, TCX Expromiser. Pretty sure I did. Um, which which I, 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 you know, but go on, if you were to look at what I normally vape and over the years and whatnot, and yeah, it shouldn't really be my thing. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. Today, I am vaping it on my my little 18650. Maybe it's not an 18650. Maybe it's just going to get bigger. And maybe it's just going to get really silly. That that is a twenty-five millimeter diameter tank with seven mil of juice in it, and it, if I've not shown you this before, this is the Gulliver. Um, it's uh, an an old. This was a present from a very nice man, uh, at Jewel twenty six six fifty. That's the dog wanting in, uh, and um, and yes, I absolutely love this. This is just for those silly moments when when I just feel that. I just want to be more German. Uh, it's lovely. I, I, hand on, I, I'm not, I know there's there's people out there that think, oh, he likes everything and then whatnot. One of the main reasons for that is that most of the gear I get sent to review is from, from people that have dealt with me in the past and I know they make good stuff. Um, and or I'm dealing with modders that I know and I generally like that. So yes, the majority of stuff I get, there's a good chance I'm going to like it. I always point out the pros and cons, which I did with this as well. Uh, but um, yes, this is my sorry. My phone's just going to keep binging the whole time. I'll put this in silent. There we go. There we have a squirrel moment already. Uh, it's just some mad Frenchman, as usual. Sorry, Gus. Um, but yes. With mesh, um, I'm not a huge fan. I, I'm just not, I, I mean, I have to 40, 50 watts um, and, and I go through a lot more juice just to get, and a lot more power just to get the flavor I'm used to. But with this sticking in just a, a normal coil and I can actually go 25, 30 watts, um, and I can get just as good a flavour at 40, 50 watts. And just as much, maybe not quite as much vapour, I will say that. But uh, that, that's just how I like to vape. Uh, but once again, the airflow in this is superb. I... I, I I should really switch the fan on in here, but uh, we'll, we'll leave that just now. Right, we'll put this to one side. So, uh, whilst I put this to one side, this reminds me, uh, I would just like to say thank you to all my paying patrons out there that support the channel um, and pay their lifetime membership of £1.23. Uh, my piggy bank is now full. I reckon I probably have about £22 in here. Thank you so, so much. Uh, if I knew I could make so much money from just opening up a Patreon account, then uh, I would have done it years ago. But because I have so much money coming in now in my Patreon fees, um, I did get another present from some... <laughs> I love this. I got a new piggy bank. This has nothing to do with vaping, but it's a toy and I'm a child. Uh, but... How awesome is that? 
Um, let me just switch it off. There we go. So I've got a new piggy bank. Colin, thank you so, so much. You know me very well. And uh, yes, I am embracing my inner child, as always. Um, <laughs> other vape. Other vape stuff. Right. Um, <laughs> now, I bought the KSL S mod from La, La Petite Vapor Store or, or something like that. I can't remember the name now. Um, and really liked it. If you've seen the video, just, yeah. Um, the short and sweet version was that I'd done the review, I'd recorded a review for this mod and, and really liked it. And, and I gave it quite a positive review for, you know, the, the size of it. It wasn't bad. In fact, if I've got photos here that I could just, just to give you a quick, quick gander. Gander? Is that a thing? Um, no, I appear to have lost the photo. Oh, there we go. There's one there. Will this show up screen share? There we go. Right, you can see there that the, so the mod uh, completely burnt out in there. And yeah, I've got other photos of as well. Yep, they see all the screens all burnt out and all burnt out in there. Um, that was from putting the battery in the wrong way. Now, um, there was reverse battery protection as such because the battery was fine but the mod burnt out now obviously i contacted the uh, i contacted the company and whatnot and um and basically they turned around and said it does have reverse battery protection and it does have reverse polarity protection and all this and we're really sorry this happened and um so i said are you going to do a recall or anything like that are you going to put it on your facebook page are you going to put it on your instagram page and all they did was put up a video going, yes, it does have this protection built in. They never acknowledged the fact there was an issue. They never said anything. All they said was they were contacting their wholesalers and their users to let them know. And I know people that have bought this and have not been contacted. I contacted the people I bought it from and they said they hadn't heard from the company. So I'm sorry, but... KSL Vapor, you can go boil your heat. Um, shocking. Really, really bad business practice, that. Uh, and it's appalling. Because I'm okay. I'm in a shed. I mean, the door was open. I screwed the battery cap on. And it just got roasting hot and started smoke coming out. I lobbed it out into the garden. And that was it. Can you imagine somebody that bought that as their first regulated mod or they're in a flat or they're they're new to this kind of stuff that would geez, nah sorry KSL Vapor but uh, you're in the doghouse and you should think black burning shame of the way you've handled it but uh, yes there, there we go with that uh, there were also people saying why was I so um, reserved about it why didn't I kick off and I think people just want to see screaming and shouting. Uh, you know, if you're not screaming and shouting, then you don't mean something. I'm not like that. Uh, that that's not me. That's other folk can get on with that stuff. Uh, the video I did, I believe I put a message across saying that be careful, faulty mod, um, watch out. Which is all I can do. It's all I can say. Uh, but <laughs> it's just, yeah. Anyway, on we go. Uh, right, uh, young Alex at Cheeky Vape got in touch. I've just looked at this um, drip tip, and oh my god, I can't show you that. <laughs> I have to start cleaning my drip tips before I switch the camera on. That's disgusting. Um, forgive me. Uh, it's uh, I I I do like my uh, my cafe lattes. And uh, they do get stuck onto all my drip tips. Why am I sharing this information? You don't need to know this information. You really don't. Um, I keep telling you, every man cave or woman cave uh, should have one of these, a paper towel dispenser. You know you want one. Uh, but anyway, so Alex at Cheeky Vape got in touch and said, do you want to play with this? The Nautilus Prime, 
uh, which I have been doing for the past few days. I've been playing with this. Um, and I'll just give you a quick closey uppy, just a quick one. Uh, here we go. It's a pod system. It's a pod system, but it takes the Nautilus coils. Uh, we've got our firing button here. There we go. Pod system. Yank that out. And, you know, it's just the usual fill through a plug there. I've have I got any condensation or any leaking? Nothing that I can see. And I best put this back in the right. No, put it in the right way. Come on. There we go. And we're, we're, we're back in. Uh, you've got a controller here for mouth to lung and direct lung if you want. Obviously, that's also dependent on the coil. Uh, and your up and down button. And you've got the two amp charge there as well. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm guessing 2000 milliamp hour inside this thing uh, I have the 0 0.7 is it the mesh coil can't remember now and and in that just now I'm vaping away with my Nata uh, from Bosi uh, which is beautiful and it's from Canada which makes it even better um, Sorry, I'm, I'm married to a Canadian, I have to say these things. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, not bad. The The only gripe I have got with it so far is the, the firing button location. Um, I am used to... Everything I vape with, billet boxes and so on and so forth, when my firing button, thumb fire in there and you go for a vape, the drip tip is normally here. It's on the wrong side. Or... Yeah, it kind of feels that way. It's on the, so I, I keep going like that, but it's not. It's the other way. Um, it's almost like for me, it's better left-handed. But yeah, that, that so far that's my only gripe. Uh, it's not a bad wee bit of kit. I, th I think Alex at Cheeky Vape was selling them for about thirty-four pounds. Not bad. There we go. Right. Pop that there. I've dealt with that. Next, what's what's next? Um, I don't know if I'm actually allowed to show you this just yet. I can. I'm not. I'm not reviewing it. There are photos of it out there already. Uh, but it's the um, this thing. The new the 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 dot the the dot. For, what, oh my God! What's it? The dot stick? Is it the dot? can't remember what it's called somebody quick shout out if you know shout out um dot stick there we go see i should have got that um but yeah it, i think it's using the same electronics as the the dot aio you know you got the three different power settings it comes with this little tank it takes the um, pretty sure it takes the nord coils as well 22 millimeters in diameter uh A little bit of condensation there already. Um, I'll, I'll not say I'll, I'll not show any more often. It, it, it's that's that's kind of it. But uh, I have tried it with um, my own twenty two mil atties and, and it works fine. Uh, but it's got that if you know the if you ever had a dot se or dot aio, then you'll know you get that rattlesnake noise. It's got the same thing going on, uh, but fully open. Yeah, you can you can go kind of cloudy with it. Uh, party piece is obviously, of course, and I'll, I'll point this out here. Battery cap off, battery out. Take that bit off. Throw an eighteen three fifty battery in, and and you got a little BB one, little BB one. Um, so yeah, that's that's the the dot stick. There'll be a review for that coming somewhere down the line. Uh, it'll be a few weeks, I would imagine. Um, so that's that. That's a battery that needs charged. Um, 
other things. Right. I have had the Odin Mini here for, for a little while. Um, they sent it on, but they, they never contacted me afterwards, um, answering some questions that I had. And so they never answered me. But then they also sent this on, uh, which is the the Odin 100. Uh, so you can see here that they're, they're basically the exact same size. Exact same size. Uh, one of them has a DNA 75C, uh, which is going to make it slightly more expensive. And the other one has, uh, I think it's Dovepo's own 100 watt board. Um, they're made from slightly different materials. Uh, I'm pretty sure the 75C is made from more expensive materials and the, the 100 is, yeah, I think this, yeah, totally different materials, but same shape, dimensions, there you go, and it's a 21700 or an 18650 mod. Uh, I've been, like I've been using the, the 75C one for a while and it's actually, there's not much I can fault it on. I think I even mentioned this in my last vlog. I've used it a fair bit and I don't have any issues to report as such. Uh, my biggest concern at one point was the, you know, the door. You know, you know how you can do that. You know, sometimes you can, it's closed, but you slide it and it just keeps popping open. Well, it doesn't do that with a battery inside it. Remember the, the dual 21700 version they had? It was bad for that, but the, the smaller ones are spot on. Um, so there we go. There's a couple of Odins. I think they're both out now. Uh, the, the 100's now out. Um, from my limited use, I, I yeah, I've, I've no real issues with it whatsoever. Um, something else that uh, I have been a puffing away with, um, and there will be a review for this uh, probably towards the end of the month, uh, once the, the Metal Madness Vapors guys come back from holiday. Uh, so this is the Midas, and uh, obviously it's made by that piece of shit modder. Uh, mod <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Demi, I'm, I'm only joking, mate. I'm only joking. Uh, so, yes, this has been a strange journey because it's not uh, a shape that I'm hugely fond of. And when they said they were sending it on for, for me to review it, I was like, as always, I mean, I've known the guys since they started with the, the did. Um, but they always... They never have any issue. I, I I like them. I mean, Miriam and, and, you know, they're great because you can give them constructive feedback. I've always been able to do that with them because you speak to them like adults uh, and they've been great that way. Uh, but this just didn't really do it for me looks wise. Um, but comfort wise, vaping with it, it is extremely comfortable which kind of caught me off guard um, and as always the finish on it the woodwork and so on is just top notch it really is top notch so there, there'll be a review for that coming once again I'm not going to do it until they get back from holiday uh, they get back from, which is, I think is the 28th if you, if you don't know most of the people in, uh, in Greece uh, they tend to take most of August off on holiday uh, as most folk do in that part of the world. Um, so, there we go. Uh, other things. Right. There will be a review for these mods very, very soon. Um, so this is the Shift and the Shift Plus. Uh, hang on a second. I just want to... Is that any better? That looks a bit better. Or I can see them a bit better anyway. Um, so this is by Hummingbird Mods Company uh, out of the States. And uh, yes, it's a 3D printed mod. Uh, we have a 20, uh, 21700 edition here and an 18650. So this is the Shift and this is the Shift Plus. Uh, the, these are, are uh, 
I, I'm going to come straight out and say it. This little 18650 guy here is is rapidly becoming one of my favourite side by side mods. This and the Horizon are are really do it for me. Uh, now this one has a um, a tube, so you just put your battery in there and then it pulls in, pushes out, and that's it. And it's a DNA 60, and it's got like one of your old Tron buttons on there that lights up. Uh, we have up and down buttons. We have Shed Edition. Uh, I got that as a favour. Uh, and we've got like this, you know, this aluminium. Remember the uh, aluminium um, tread and whatnot that you get. It's like that matting. It's it's textured there, and it's. I love this mod. I really do. Really love this mod. Um, it's Big Brother. Uh, this actually has a battery in it just now. It's just got a wrap on it. Um, this does not have a tube, so this is an exposed one. And yes, I know I split the battery, putting the bloody thing on. I split the battery wrap just there before I started recording. So yeah, I'll not be using that. But um, 21700, basically the same device. Uh, it does have a different button on it, which uh, I'm, I've been asked very politely to point out that this is the standard button. And this button here you get by request. It will cost you more. Me personally, at this point in time, I, I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I prefer this one. And you'll probably shout at me for saying that. But there we go. So Hummingbird Mods Company. They're on Facebook. And these will also be for sale at Vaping Art. Or Vaping Art in the States as well. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, change the camera. Michael, Michael Cowan. Michael, if I, Michael, if I've got that wrong, if your name is not Michael, I can't believe it. My my head's just gone to pot. Um, remember, I was I used to talk about there. There was a Facebook group uh, that I told you about that just started not long ago. Side by side. It was a side by side SBS. Um, it was a side, a, a, just a Facebook group dedicated to side by side. Well, the, the admin, the guy behind it, Michael, it now has he's always had his own company, but uh, so he's now got these mods. And I'll do a review for this hopefully tail end of this week, beginning of next week. But so far, big big fan, big fan. Um, I need to vape something. I'm gonna need to vape something really silly. That'll do. Uh, right. What else have we got? Can I show you? Um, I don't know who sent this on. Well, obviously, um, uh, uh, I'm going to mention it anyway. Uh, I don't normally do this, but uh, there's... Uh, the, there's <laughs> What's the name of the company? I can't, I can't even read that. Future Juices, I think it is. Is it Sfomato? Sfomato, is it? I don't know, uh, but they, they do these this juice range here. Uh, but they actually, I got two bottles just arrived in the post today. Um, so this one, which is a custard and frosted lemon cake. And this one, is it Bedino? Bedino? Wait until you hear a Bedino. <laughs> Obviously I'm uh, my, yes. Where has it gone? Uh, a delectable dessert of smooth, Creme anglaise layered with rich Bavarian cream and married with sweet Madagascan vanilla. I did that without my glasses on. Um, I've only done a hand check test with them both. And if I had a spoon, I would eat them both. Uh, they may vape completely differently. Uh, I may not like vaping with them, but the taste and the smell is... Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have a crack at them later on, but uh, whoever sent them on, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, what else have we got for you? I'm going to put some batteries in this. I'll, I'll, I'll put some batteries in this. We're, go we're going cloudy. 
<laughs> we're going cloudy. Um, let's, where are we? We're negative and positive. Now, this is by Ogvape. Now, I get on well with Ogvape because I usually like their stuff, you know, the intakes and so on. Uh, quite a fan. Uh, this really isn't, um, how you'll say, it's not necessarily in my wheelhouse. Um, but this is, it's a Joule 21700 or a, a Joule 18650. And it, it's got a little, it's got a little wheel here. You can spin around. Uh, look at that firing button. That's nuts. Um, and it's got the, the intake sub ohm tank there. And I, I've been playing with this. I wouldn't say I've been necessarily testing it properly at this moment in time. Uh, I just wanted to have a vape in it. I will say, this button, it looks hideous. Uh, I think it, it kind of looks hideous, but my thumb just got, I mean, big paws. Uh, it's super comfy. Uh, it's it's not, um, it's not shit. I've got to be, my, my whole perspective is shifting. I don't know if this is an age thing or, or just the length of time I've been vaping. Um, those of you that have been vaping for quite some time will know this as well. You you go through phases. Uh, you go through phases. It's like fashion. You know, flares were in fashion, then disappeared, and then came back, and then disappeared, and came back. And it's the same with vaping, but in a, a smaller time frame. Um, I love my posh mods. I mean, that's a Seduce by Vulcan, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I really, really have strong feelings about that. I'm, I'm passionate about it. I love it. I appreciate the work that's gone into it. And, and it's a beautifully crafted device. Whereas, you know, this kind of stuff, um, I used to, I mean, I worked in a vape shop for three years. Uh, I used to sell this kind of stuff all the time. And I appreciated, appreciated it from the point of view that your non-hobbyist your average consumer, um, people that have gone like uh, vape pens, pods, um, dot sticks, and then they're wanting more clouds and more power. This stuff has a place. I get that. I feel understand it. But I was always a bit um, not dismissive. Uh, but yeah, I'm a bit of a snob. So I wasn't that fond of it. But now, now, I, I mean... My, up there that I've told you about before, I have my, my daily bangers, if you like, my, when I'm leaving the house, these are mods I take with me. Um, you know, I've, I've got the Origin uh, X up there, the Aegis Boost Plus, the little Aegis Mini, um, the Aegis Squonker, uh, an MPV or an MVP5, can never remember which one it is. And a Bassium, uh, they are cheap, cheap mods that um, I don't worry about. And but I enjoy using these type of mods more and more. And I think it's because of the coils. I think it's because of the coils you get now. It, it used to be there was a, the, you had a rebuildable here, and then you had a pre-made coil here. And on the flavour chart, they they were this far apart, but now, now the flavour that, that it's just getting very very close. So I get the flavour that I want from these rebuildable, uh, pre-built coils and so on. And I was going somewhere with this, and it's just gone out my head. <laughs> I don't get what I mean. I don't mind this kind of stuff anymore, and I, I actually I enjoy using it almost as much as I do my fancy stuff. In saying that, it's I kind of look upon it the same way as a watch. You will have your, um, the watch you wear all the time when you're out and about during the day. And then if you're going out somewhere for a nice meal, you'll, you'll 
put on a nice fancy watch and uh, how's that nice fancy watch and you know you just feel a little bit a little bit better about yourself because you've got a little bit of bling going on I'm going to shut up because I'm really digging a big hole for myself <laughs> oh that's going to come back and bite me in the ass big style um, another thing speaking of uh, um of just more budget friendly stuff this arrived the Ivo Mouth Along RTA from Blitz um, this is I'll take this off this mod just now I'll give you a close up look at this I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it just yet because I'm still tinkering away with it uh, but it's very, very similar to a lot of other gear that has come out in the past few months. It's, um, you know, you've got your airflow down here. You can take it down quite low. But uh, you've got a, a glass uh, section in here, so you can actually... You'll be able to see how dirty your coil is and everything. So you can see that. Uh, but the, the deck is... And I'll unscrew this. See, this is where all my problems see there we go I got it watch this I'm gonna dry this off this is my my main my my main niggle with it maybe I shouldn't show you this just now but top cap I'm, I'm just lightly grasping that and I'm able to take that off that shouldn't be like that that should be have a much tighter fitting that's what makes it harder to get the deck off uh, but I'll take the deck out. Uh, it's just got a simple two-post design. It's, do you know, it's it's kind of like the ether, but then again, the ether was like lots of other tanks that had come before it. You can put inserts inside there. You can take it down mouth to lung. Uh, you can have a restricted direct lung. But I'm just... Yeah, every, everything's too loose right now. I'm getting good flavour from it. Uh, I, I am getting good flavour from it. It's only a 2 mil tank. Uh, there's no bigger tank or bubble or anything like that comes with it. But um, it does have very good flavour. It does have very good flavour. Um, this. Boop. That's all you're going to get to see. Just a little close up like that. Um, this is an alpha version of a, a, a mod that will be coming from Haku Engineering before long. It's basically something that it's going to be a, an 18350, an 18650. And you will have a top section that you can put in that will be basically a MOSFET. Or you can pull that whole top section out and you can put uh, just a hybrid head on the top or a 510 head. Um, and the, I'm testing this just now uh, but once again it's just an alpha version there'll be a there'll be a couple of months away yet but uh, it's yeah it, it doesn't feel half bad at all this um, and and yes obviously I have a working relationship with Haku uh, but I still think they do amazing stuff Super. Cute, isn't it? Little 18350 with a 2mm tank in the top. Um, right. We're almost done. We're almost done. Um, I'm just going to pull up a little window here. And I'm going to go here. And we'll go here. And I'm looking for... Uh, right. So obviously you all know about um, Evil EVL, um, which is a, a UK company that is uh, run by John, who's English and rides a bike. But he's not bad just because of that. Um, he, you know the Reaper, the Reaper V three, and so on. Um, here we go. Let's get this up here. So. 
this will hopefully be with me tomorrow. I did have a, a beta version that I gave some feedback on, uh, but uh, yes, um, I've got a production one hopefully tomorrow and yeah, I'll be able to do a review for you. So yes, it's a, it's another borrow tank device. Um, there's a couple of smart little doodah. Yeah, there's, he's done a couple of clever things with it. He really has, uh, but it's, it's very, how can I say it? It's very much a Reaper. Uh, it's almost like a Reaper borrow tank. Uh, and yes, you can change the airflow and, and so on. Uh, does he actually say here? Yes, he does indeed. Uh, so we've got a polycarbonate tank and we have airflow sizes of one, 1.5, two, 2.5 and three millimeters. So that's what we've got. Um, I will say, and it should say here, it does say here, sorry. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Polycarbonate can crack when used with certain juices, so please be sure your juice is suitable for use with polycarbonate. Uh, if you are at all concerned about that, then please bear in mind that uh, there's an Ultum version as well. So, there we go, that's coming. Uh, I also have, and it should be here, I was talking to him last night, he was just finishing it off. Uh, let me try and find a, can't find a picture now, nah, shite. <laughs> Yes, um, do that down a bit. It's that, I don't think that's my one, but that's just an example of it. El Cigart, out of Athens in Greece. Uh, they're going to be sending in a mod, uh, but he was just sending me some photos of all the, the custom versions that you can get. <laughs> And uh, once before, for the, the El Cigar stuff, it's worth pointing out, I think it's that one that I went for. Uh, all this stuff is done in-house. The only thing on on his mod that isn't done in-house will be the board. Uh, that's it. All the, and I've got a couple of uh, videos as well, because he does the 510, he does the battery tubes, caps, uh, the mod out of the Delrin, the engraving work, the etching, it's all done in-house. Uh, which is awesome. Um, so, we're going to finish up. Uh, we'll finish up in this. Uh, I will... Will I do this? We'll do a thing. We're going to do a thing relating to me. Um, and the har. Okay. Uh, as far as the har goes, um, we're getting ready for a new batch. And... One thing I want to address first before we get into this new batch conversation type thing. Um, I do harp on a bit about how it's great when you speak to a mod maker and they listen to your feedback, they take it on board and they mean they'll take that constructive feedback and they'll They'll update things and they'll do things for their mods, tanks and whatnot based on your feedback. Now that's excellent. That's great for me to say that with my reviewer hat on. See when it's the other way around <laughs> and you are the one like myself and Van and Dell uh, doing the har. Um, listening to that feedback yourself God, it stings. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. Oh, Jesus. So, um, one thing um, that we, we've done since the start. Um, when, we, when I got my first prototype har, um, I did uh, raise the, the, the topic of, on the deck, why don't we have an o-ring here uh, because I was getting leaking coming round down round the bottom and um, and and as is the way when you have a Scotsman um, arguing the toss with two Croatians um, it's things are blunt shall we say 
there are no words wasted. It's uh, it's very direct. And uh, lots of adjectives, yes. Um, so, after being told that I was fat, old, grey and lazy, uh, I was told that I wasn't using enough cotton in my build. And I remember this is at the very start with the very first prototype. So I started changing the way I was building it. I used more cotton and it didn't matter if I was using a 2.5 or a 3mm ID coil fused or round wire. I never had any leaking and to this day I've never had any leaking. The only time when I get leaking is when my cotton has broken down. Um, started breaking down you know it's time to change your cotton but when your cotton breaks down uh, it basically means that more liquid is going to fall it's gravity fed it's going to fall down and that causes pooling uh, so so that was it everything in my head and uh, Vanya's and uh, Sasha's head was fine we, you know when people said it's leaking you're not building it right put more cotton in it you'll be fine so rather than us just throwing that line out all the time, um, Vanya got in touch with the factory and we got pricing quotes and whatnot on how hard it would be to, you know, take a turn uh, round the deck here, put a little O-ring in and seal it. And it looks like we're going to be able to do that with the next run, next batch probably. And that will... Add I'm loath to say it's going to fix something because in my head, in my head, I don't think there's an issue. But it's going to help people that maybe don't get the hang of putting a build in straight away. So it's a positive. It's a positive. It's not going to cost any more in the long run for anybody. Uh, it's not costing us anything. It's not costing you any more. It's, it's going to be a positive. So why not do it? That's kind of the point I'm trying to get. Why not do it? So so that's the road we've taken. Uh, but uh, yeah, once again, it's um, getting that feedback is, and people are quite right to give that feedback, but it's, <laughs> I'm new to all this. I never want to do this again, but um, yeah, it, it does smart just a little bit. I'm trying to find photos here. Uh, hang on just two seconds till I, I scroll down here and I'm looking for Sasha's photos. Sasha, where's your photos, mate? There we go. Other things that are coming. Uh, right. There will be optional extras coming also. So you're going to have the, the PC-1000, the little guy. So basically that's going to be an accessory you can buy that is going to take your your har down to a two mil capacity. So you'll be able to buy that. Uh, hopefully I'm going the right way here. You're also going to be able to get Ultum as well. Uh, this is a large Ultum tank. So that actually, when you use this, it removes the, the top stainless steel section on the tank, the bit with the, the logo on it. So that, yeah, there's another optional extra that's coming. We do have, we've been playing about with um, DLC coating. Um, those of you that know, uh, diamond-like coating. Uh, it's a harder wearing coating. Uh, so this is uh, the gold dust that we've done. It's a matte finish. And in fact, it's that one. Now this started off as a joke, I have to be honest. Uh, I made the joke about the gold one, saying that Sasha, who hates gold plating with a passion, uh, I said we should do one in gold. So we got one in gold. And um, it's not necessarily my kind of thing, but uh, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. So, yeah, so um, we'll have that. Uh, we also have, uh, once again, this is DLC, uh, a gloss black polished and also this one which is by far the most popular one in a poll we had in the group. Sasha what? where's the hard logo? I mean see creations I mean they just have to take one photo and you can't even get the logo facing around the right way. I mean it's just see the people I work with 
it's stunning though it's absolutely stunning uh, it really is nice now we were originally going to release these as accessories so that um, if you if you wanted one if you wanted the, the deep black matte DLC you would already have to have bought a stainless steel one because we wouldn't supply the DLC one with a ta with a, a deck section basically um, we've changed our mind on that and we're going to just sell it as an entire atty. Uh, we're just going to sell it as an entire atty because it just seemed to work out best that way for balancing everything out and thinking it through so so that's where we are just now hopefully the next batch will be in the next two to three weeks um, and yeah that's where we are with the har uh, can I please just stress there is a Facebook group called MT Mark Todd MT Essentials. Uh, if you have bought a har and you're having any difficulties with it at all, if there's anything you're not happy about or not sure about or anything, please don't just go, this is shit and bin it. Um, or you can, that's your choice. Uh, go along to the Facebook group and there are posts there where people can help you out. Myself, Vanya and Sasha are in there every day. We will help you out. Uh, so yeah, go in there. Um, if it's a manufacturing error or fault at all, you should in the first hand you should contact the person you bought it from. Contact the company you bought it from. Um, and they will sort you out. They should sort you out under warranty and so on. Um, if you don't have any joy with that, then go along to the Van and Dell website and you'll see an email address for contacting them and they will sort you out. You are not stuck. We, the three of us, are not people that will take your money and just ignore you. Sasha might. Yeah, no, I'm only joking. Uh, none of us are. Um, so please, if you're stuck, reach out. Join the Facebook group contact whoever you bought it from or go along to the Van and Dell website and contact us through there as well. Here endeth the sales pitch. Here endeth the sales pitch. Um, I suck at selling stuff. Why did I get into this? I'll never know. Uh, and that's it from me. Uh, my God, I only meant to do this for half an hour. It's going on a, just a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, thank you to everybody as always, uh, for for putting up with the rambling, for putting up with the lack of drama. I know it's not necessarily exciting, but um, yeah, you don't need drama to get through your life. Um, there will be reviews coming very, very soon, as always. Uh, if you're interested in it, leave comments in the videos. Don't worry about liking, subscribing or any of that shite. You don't have to. I don't really care as long as you watch the videos and you get some enjoyment out of them or you get information. That's the main thing. You get information out of the videos where you can base a purchase on or a non-purchase. Um, anyway, I'm talking rubbish. Go away now. Thank you so much. And I'm going to push this big red button here that stops everything. Bye for now.